your travel agent, David, and I just spent a phenomenal week in Sydney, Australia. And here is the top 10 things that I highly recommend you visit when you come to Sydney, Australia. Number 10 on my list of top 10 is visiting Chinatown. When you go to Chinatown, there is probably about 25 or 30 different restaurants spread out over the three or four block radius that is Chinatown. There's one restaurant that serves these little like they're, they're donut holes, but with a cream in the center of them. Just look for the long line, you'll see it. They're phenomenal and worth the wait. Coming in at number nine, Queen Victoria's building. If you'd like to shop, even if you don't like to shop, go to Queen Victoria's building. The current exchange rate for the US dollar to the Aussie dollar is phenomenal for Americans. So you can pretty much get everything at about 40% off due to the conversion rate. It's multi-story. They have dozens and dozens and dozens of shops that you can choose from, from luxury to entry level, any price point, and it's situated really well inside of the central business district as well. Coming in at number eight is Patty's Market. Especially visit Patty's Market if you're looking for souvenirs that won't break your bank. Patty's Market is located right next to Chinatown, so if you're already in Chinatown grabbing a bite to eat, hop on over to Patty's Market. You'll find everything from clothes to Aboriginal gifts to jewelry, coins, and if you go there, you'll even find some exotic items as well. If you're near Circular Key, you've got to go to number seven, the Royal Botanical Gardens. Now, the Royal Botanical Gardens are right along Sydney's Harbor, and you can enter it from two different locations, and, which makes it really easy to access. If you take the train or bus into Circular Key, you're about a three or four minute walk away from the Royal Botanical Gardens. It has a phenomenal layout, and it's very scenic and also situated very well within Sydney. No visit is complete without checking out number six, The Rocks. The Rocks is one of the oldest communities in Sydney and it's full of shops, restaurants, bars, ghosts, storied pasts. So you've got to check it out during the day and at night. I highly recommend that you take the Haunted Ghost Tour at night. Check out my video. You'll see what we've gone over and what we did. And it's a great way to learn about the whole pass of the Rocks area.
No trip to Sydney will be complete without visiting number five, the Sydney Harbor Bridge. Now, Sydney Harbor Bridge is one of the most iconic landmarks of Sydney. It has a story past also uh, from its being built. But if you watch my video on the Sydney Harbor Bridge, you'll see where you can pick it up and come off of it on either side. And if you walk from the Sydney side to the other side, it's great access to uh, Luna Park. There's a lot of restaurants and parks on the other side as well. Check out the video for more info on what's on the other side of the bridge. Number four, the Sydney Opera House. Now, the reason why this one isn't coming in at like number one is because they, when you do the tours, they won't let you take any videos. So I was fortunate enough to be able to take one photo inside of the Opera House because there was nobody in it and no stages were set up with any kind of props. So you gotta check out the Sydney Opera House. You gotta check that off your bucket list. It's number four on mine. Number three on the list, taking a ferry to Manly. As you will find around Circular Quay, the ferry system is very robust and affordable. I highly recommend that you take the ferry over to Manly. When you get to Manly, there's a lot of cool shops, there's a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants, and it's about a three minute walk to the beach. The waves there are phenomenal, and the beach at Manly is very competitive with Bondi and Coogee as well. Number two, going out to the Blue Mountains and seeing the Three Sisters and visiting Scenic World. Now, visiting the Three Sisters, you get a fantastic view of the Blue Mountains, and then right next to the Three Sisters is where Scenic World is. You'll take this cool tram to the bottom of the rainforest. You get to go around the rainforest, looking at several different things, including a bunch of local animals, and then you get the cool ride back and there's several other things to do right there at the top at Scenic World. Number one on your must do list of things at Sydney is doing the Bondi to Kuji Coastal Beach Walk. Now I do highly recommend that you start at Kuji and work your way to Bondi because you'll go downhill more than you will go uphill. And when you get to Bondi Beach, maybe you stop off at the icebergs and relax in the pools before you go to the beach. But Bondi Beach and Kuji Beach, that coastal walk, is phenomenal. You'll thank me, trust me. 